How do you guys? Welcome back to Max DM Crafting. Today I want to show you how I created uh, an entrance for my sewer project. It's uh, like a tutorial slash uh, projects showcase slash uh, I want to show something that I like so much. Have fun! Nothing is better to start with a fresh pack of graphic chipboard. Those are uh, 4 inches by 6 inches. I need a 4x4 tile. I mark and I cut. Now I use the template of my universal locking tile system for a cut a couple of uh, junction for my fusion tile system. I suggest you to watch my fusion tile system tutorial for understand what I'm doing here. But basically I'm creating a sewer tile 4x4 inches. In this case my tile will be not reversible so I'm tracing the grid just on one side. I'm using now Green Stuff Ward uh, textured roll pin for my pavement as I did uh, with all my tiles. This will be an end piece and I'm attaching now the lockable piece. With this uh, upper part my sandwich is done and I'm ready for uh, create all the other part of my entrance. First of all I need to create the hole for the water passage with a big gate. I'm using my trustful uh, cap that is actually 3.5 uh, centimeters and I'm cutting the hole. Then I'm using the first hole for create the second one. Here I want to play with the perspective so I'm uh, basically cutting with a 45 uh, degree angle the second uh, part of my tunnel with my hard shot white cutter and then my brickworks will be a little bit uh, tricky for simulate the depth of the tunnel. As you can see the effect is that uh, this tunnel is much longer, like that. I continue the brickwork. As always, I suggest you to watch my tutorial number 3 for understand uh, better my technique on brick walls. I decided that the, the hay of my passage and my bridge actually will be the same as uh, all my projects, so actually it's uh, 2 inches and now here I'm uh, basically improvising a little bit for understand how to cut the pieces for the walls and for the bridge. I'm just uh, eyeballing and uh, cutting the pieces with my proxon. Finally, when I was satisfied, I start to put together everything. Here I'm preparing the space for the door and uh, yeah, I'm using one of my dungeon doors for uh, as template 
Initially, I wanted to create a superior brick that was uh, out of the line. But you will see in the end, I will cut that. The major part of my work for the doors is uh, free-handed, as you can see here. I'm using the pieces as template all the time, and uh, I'm just going very fast during the crafting process. Then I remove the central part for the door, carefully, trying not to break the, the arch. And with the proxon, I cut the door and the arch to the dimension that I like. And then, again, brickwork. For the door, I use my technique for the wood grain. Check my tutorial number four if you want to understand how to do that. And uh, for all this project, I'm using actually the Proxon, but uh, with some tricks that you can find in my tutorial, you can also do the same project just with a exacto knife and a ruler, and of course, and uh, an arch cutter. I'm adding the, the nail holes and when I was satisfied I just used my hot glue gun and I put the door together with the wall piece. Nice. Then I finished the brickwork for all the wall. <laughs> the technique is always the same, guys. <laughs> for me, it works like that. I attach the two walls in a straight angle and I finish the brickwork for the second part. Finally, I was satisfied with the walls and with the measurements, so I decided to attach all the bridge and finish the building process. When you use uh, different pieces of foam for create dimensions, one of the major problems is that uh, you have these slices and with the brick works you need to camouflage the, the bricks. Uh, one of my techniques, one of, I have many techniques for this, is just to draw the bricks through the, those lines, then use uh, a little bit of uh, stucco or walls filler and then redo the lines just where you need them. As you can see here, already without the stucco is a, a nice, a nice camouflage. Now 
Now, before I touch the bridge with the water passage, I mark and I start to paint in black because uh, this will be very difficult in a second moment to paint like that. So it's much better if you do this before I touch the pieces. Here I'm finishing the brickwork for the second part of the bridge. A lot of brick works. As I told you, before I uh, attach the piece, I need to prepare the, the part that will be under the bridge, that will be not reachable once the piece will be glued together. So I am preparing actually the water, as I did for the other pieces of the sewer, with my airbrush. I just prepare the shade of uh, green and then with my hot glue gun I do the stream of water as I did for all my sewer pieces. For uh, the bars of the gate, I'm using these uh, wooden sticks that are perfectly round, a little bit fat pieces of wood, and I attach them with uh, some uh, hot glue. Then I prepare the two floor pieces for the bridges, giving them a brickwork, a pavement work, uh, similar to what I, I've done for my sewer gate. When I was satisfied, I just glue the two floors and basically the piece was finished. Here I'm using uh, a boat wheel. Actually, I'm transforming it in a in a valve for the opening of the sewer gate. I used a pin for uh, fix it and also for give some uh, additional interesting uh, shape to the piece. And I glue it to a foam pillar. Yeah, nice and easy. And we have a valve. At this point, I understand that my piece needed something else, something for uh, make it more interesting. And I decided uh, to create uh, a little pipe, a side pipe also, with uh, some uh, liquid exiting from it. So I created a ring of foam and I put a uh, little bit of uh, this uh, plastic net for uh, crafting together. I create a hole in the, in the wall and I painted it in, uh, in black before glue of course the net and before glue the end of the pipe. Also I painted the, the grid in black and with some hot glue I put everything together. nice and easy. Also at this point I realized that uh, the gate was too simple with these uh, three bars so I decided to add some reinforcement, horizontal reinforcement for give uh, a solid aspect to this piece. Now 
This was uh, a stair that uh, remains from the sewer gate and uh, I used that. I changed a little bit the, the initial project, so I reduced the number of the stairs. Not two stairs, no so many steps, just one. It's a little bit more simple but the effect is uh, nice. I painted uh, the inside of the gate before glue everything together with some PVA glue. When you use uh, PVA glue, I suggest you always to fix the piece with some uh, pins. During the drying time, I use some uh, walls filler for close every gap between uh, the piece junctions using my fingers for uh, a smooth result. Then the paint process started with uh, black priming. I used my airbrush for this because it's uh, much more easier to reach every corner with an airbrush. For the paint process check my tutorial number one about uh, dungeon walls. It's the same process, okay? So you check that. And basically I'm using uh, not a basic technique but uh, a more advanced technique for give uh, a lot of shades to the walls. After that I use my hot glue gun to create uh, a little stream of water exit from the little pipe. I just drop some uh, glue and wait for it to dry. Here I'm using some uh, toilet paper that is uh, very appropriate for this kind of project. For create some trash and some uh, shit here and there. After I use some PVA glue for uh, place the, the paper, I use some uh, brown wash for give that, uh, yeah disgusting color. This project is coming together very nicely. As you can see, I use also some uh, additional gloss varnish for, uh, you know, water effect, all the stream of water. Yeah, this is how I like it. Disgusting. Okay guys, this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe this channel. Remember to support this channel through Patreon or uh, PayPal. And uh, yes, I think I see you all on the next episode. Till next time, happy crafting!